Hi, I'm Kristen King from The Investing Channel, and you're watching Pink Diamond, the show where we help you find the diamonds in the rough of the pink sheet and small cap market. This week, we're back in the world of biotech and the development of cutting edge treatments designed to treat and stop the spread of infectious diseases, something that we can all identify with after the last 12 months. As with many other facets of modern life, technology now has its part to play in drug development. Businesses in the sector are building drugs that are designed to attach themselves to the viruses that cause the spread of disease. Once attached, these specialist proteins may be able to reprogram or disrupt processes within the virus and disable them. This new generation of treatments are made possible through the manipulation of a protein's genetic makeup. Once modified, these proteins are known as monoclonal antibodies, and the company we're looking at this week is fully engaged in developing these new tools. That company is Texas-based Enzolytics. The business is OTC listed, but has a market cap of $980 million, so it's far from a minnow. In the last month, Enzolytics Inc. has announced the discovery of target sites on the viruses that cause HIV-1 and the coronavirus. Enzolytics has found eight target sites on the HIV-1 virus and 11 targets on the viruses that transmit coronavirus. In each case, patent applications have been filed and the company will now try to develop specific monoclonal antibodies to attack these sites, or epitopes as they are more formally known. Enzolytics use sophisticated artificial intelligence applications to analyze the virus structures and to identify properties that the monoclonal antibodies could exploit. If granted, the patents could last for 20 years and become applicable in 153 countries around the globe. What's more, Enzolytics scientists believe that the epitopes that they have identified in the coronavirus will be present in mutated strains, and that their treatments, once developed, should also be effective against these variants. Moving from experimentation and computer-driven modeling in a laboratory is still a challenge, and any real-world treatments that are developed will need to be vigorously tested before they can be deployed. Enzolytics may not be the business that develops and sells the end drugs. Instead, it may license its intellectual property to a larger pharmaceutical manufacturing business. Of course, with a relatively modest market cap, the company could also become a bid target if it can show positive results in the next phase of development. The market for coronavirus vaccines has been forecast to reach $75 billion by the end of 2021, and it seems likely that the virus will exist in some form or other for the foreseeable future. Enzolytics treatment would complement the vaccination program, helping to treat and eliminate any future cases that slip through the net or which prove resistant to vaccines. So this is a significant opportunity for the business if the development of treatments can be completed successfully. Wall Street pros have recognized that fact, and TrackStar IQ, our proprietary search tracking database, has identified a surge in interest in the business among institutional investors. TrackStar has identified almost 1,150 requests for information on the company in recent weeks. These searches have been made by 365 individual pro traders, making Enzolytics the most active of the OTC tickers tracked by the database. In terms of recent price action, Enzolytics has posted 14 new highs over the last three months, during which time the price has appreciated by 288%. However, it has fallen back substantially from the high of $95.80 posted in February. There has also been significant volume traded in the stock over the last six weeks, with 100 million shares changing hands on a couple of occasions. The shares are now trading at $0.36. Cents. That's the kind of price that many investors will view as worth speculating on, given the upside potential of any future success. Of course, what we can't be certain about is the timing of any further positive news, but in some respects, that makes it all the more exciting. Though investors would need to exercise a good degree of patience if they take the plunge. Small and microcap stocks can be high-risk investments, so before you make any decisions, please ensure you do your own due diligence. To find out more about our TrackStar IQ data, sign up to our free newsletter at investingchannel.com trackstar.